This is water desalinization through solar energy. In this project, the overview of this project is that it uses sea water and using sea water, we heat it up with a solar energy and the vapors are collected at the top of our glass frame. As you can see, there are many vapors that are collected on top of glass. And then we control this project using a microcontroller Arduino Mega which is inside this box as you can see here in the LCD on the first where I have pointed my finger its humidity that is inside 89 percent we have pH meter and this pH meter basically shows the quality of the water we didn't dip it at the moment then we have a water level here which shows that at the moment the water level is low that is inside the tank here we have two kinds of a temperature one is inside and one is outside so inside temperature at the moment is 35 degrees celsius and this is 27 degrees celsius outside temperature we have wind speed meter here at the moment there is no wind so it is showing 0, 0.0 and we have a water we have uh, this one water level which is at the moment high and this on the top is basically a light intensity which is at the moment low if you see down in the box we have connected the pH sensor here and there is this one small one here as temperature sensor now the water vapors that are made here that are collected through a small tunnel and it goes from here to our drinking water can now what we have tested so far between the temperature of 60 to 80 degrees celsius we can obtain at least 1.3 liter of water daily that is around five it takes around five hours to make the water ready now if you see here this is our anometer this is basically our wind speed meter and here we have light intensity sensor and this temperature and humidity sensor here is basically inside the tank if you can see from here but it's not possible at the moment now here if you see there are two kinds of water outlets this is one water outlet if we want to uh, for example remove the water from the tank and make it for the cleaning or something and this is another water outlet if you see the diagram you will find it that why we put this water outlet basically it's also a kind of a vapors that we have collected through galvanized sheet this is our distribution tank basically it consists of water or the sea water here now the sea water if it searches inside there is a small water level sensor inside so if the water level inside drops then this tank basically provides the water to the main or project here below this solenoid valve is going to control through the water level sensor so it senses through the microcontroller if microcontroller says that water level is down then it will automatically activate and present the water inside so this is all our overview of the project and down below you will find a power supply this is we have scrapped from a computer and it provides two kind of a voltage that we used in this project one 12, 12 volt and another one is 5 volt and it is connected to the main power hub and this is all our project so please subscribe to our youtube channel for further videos on our megatronic projects and also do like our video and if you need any kind of a help or co please comment it so that we can share more details and you can also find our instructable tutorial which provides detailed overview of our design microcontroller approach programming everything thank you very much